Hello, it's me, Jess. Welcome to my channel. I'm here with another channeled message. This is a specific message. It might resonate with you. It might not. Okay, so this is another big message. Um, I feel like a major lie and a major liar is being revealed because a major liar doesn't just tell one lie. I think that they're adept at lying this person. And this is some kind of energy that we've been picking up on, but but something here is coming out. And I feel like you might not know about this, but Spirit is making you aware of this because whoever this message is for, I feel like you were somehow affected by, you were on the receiving end of some kind of lie. Someone could have lied about you, but um, I kind of think someone was in competition with you. I'm hearing they identified you as the person to beat. So in some way they could have they also could have lied about themselves, like in order to rival you, if that makes sense. Like this could be like putting on some kind of mask or claiming some kind of like trait or skill set that they don't have. And they did all of this with the intent. It's a very malicious intent. They did all of this to like destroy something for you or to destroy um, some kind of connection that you had that could have been a professional connection that could have been a romantic connection, some kind of like good standing or like good esteem that you had. They wanted to take something from you. And I think it was like something to do with like your essence or like how you're seen. And this ha has everything to do with karma. They wanted to take something here of like that, of your good karmas, something that you had worked to build and you know, when we have good karmas, like we're just trying to fulfill ourselves, you know, and to have a good relationship with God and with life. And we're trying to do kind of like, I don't think that you were necessarily focused on the spoils in building yourself up in a certain way, professionally or romantically, but however you've built yourself up to be like a really good partner or a really good profession professional, it's because at the heart of it, you want to be a really good person. You want to be the truth. You want to actually function very well in the positions that you hold in people's lives and in society. That's kind of how you build good karma. Well, the, and you expected the spoils because you kind of know that there's a rhyme and a reason, you know, to life, but it's not why you did it. It's not the heart and soul of why, why you do the things that you do. But there's a person here who like watched you or felt threatened by you. They knew that you had something coming in for you because they could see it kind of shaping up, whether that was a romantic relationship in this person, they could have been an ex to somebody or just somebody very jealous, somebody very competitive um, that just wanted to spoil things, to be honest. Um, or this could have also been like a promotion. So somebody knew that your boss really thought highly of you and that a job was opening up and that you were kind of a shoe in, like you were a sure pick. And so they scrambled to interrupt it, whatever this was. They scrambled to try to rival you and in, they, they themselves as they truly are could never rival you. Nobody in their right mind would choose this person over you. So instead they concocted a series of lies or one lie in particular. Now I do think there's some kind of friend or like a sidekick there or a family member. There's somebody, I'm hearing the word like benign. There's, I also heard beignets. So I don't know if like they could have, somebody here could be French or New Orleans could be relevant or um, I don't know. I just, I heard the word beignets. Um, there could have been a friend that was around this person that was actually somehow aware of who they really are and their negative intent to disrupt and to get in between and to take something from you, either because it was outright told to them. And I think at first they thought like, haha, like that's funny. It's cute because sometimes when we're venting like to our friends or, you know, whatever, we'll be like, oh, like I'm going to, I'm just gonna go ham on like whatever and you don't actually mean it and I think this person kind of thought like you're just venting okay so you are jealous we all get jealous sometimes this is you like kind of venting but certainly you're not actually going to and then this person actually did and I think even when this person actually did something they were like okay so you had your fun your warped demonic twisted version of fun but I think they were just maybe stunned and again their alliances with this person and then of course they're kind of grappling with the truth being revealed but there's something here that like kept going on and on and on and this person was just kind of like oh my gosh like now you're actually you know you you don't have training in this job and now you're actually like I don't know there's something it kept kind of kept going on and on and I feel like it was actually eating this friend up and 
or this person or this account somebody here that was just like on the somebody saw something this is a person like on the periphery so it could have been like a, an accomplice a sidekick a friend a, a family member a sibling somebody here knows about this and this person is not as corrupted internally i think they just have low self-esteem i don't know why they're wrapped up here with this other person but i think they're kind of asking themselves the same question to be honest but something here is just eating them up inside and maybe they just felt like they were in too deep like they wondered if it was gonna make them look like a bad person the fact that they were laughing about this the fact that they thought that this was funny the fact that this is the kind of company that they keep I don't know I feel like they were kind of embarrassed it was like their own dirty little secret somehow and they're really unappreciative of that now especially because I think something here went too far like something here was like what do you mean you're having a child with this person who you've like lied on and you knew that they were gonna get in a happier relationship with this person. Something here went too far and it just like upset somebody's morals here. And again, I do feel like this is coming out because somebody here, it feels gross for them to keep this secret. And whether or not you know about this, that you've even been affected by this, that this is why something didn't go your way or that, um, that you know, even if you don't know about this, I feel like this is coming out and I feel like this is more evidence or this packs more of a punch than you could have, ever even hoped for where really all the pieces are coming together for like the players that are involved the people who were duped the people who are making decisions um it's all kind of coming out and i feel like this person kind of cannot excuse themselves there's no excuse for this person being the way that they did and i've been picking up on this energy but i feel like this person is actually quite an adept liar i actually think they tell more lies than they do truths and i think that they're just used to this they're used to being very slippery they're used to being believed um yeah and i think that you're actually the more believable person i think you're very honorable and i think again you're very experienced like if this is a professional thing it's like you actually have a professional opinion meaning you didn't just pull it out of your ass it is an educated opinion right like everybody's got their opinions but there are people who have who are educated in certain things and their opinions whether or not you agree with them they're thinking you showing their work like it should hold more weight in some kind of capacity and i feel like you have been very surprised something this even affected the way that you think about yourself maybe you didn't take certain risks because where you did have an edge where you were the truth where you were the actual thing you weren't actually believed and i think it maybe i don't think that the people involved know how much this affected you like the ripple effect that this had on the trajectory of everybody involved like everybody involves future because i think again like there is something that you have a natural strength in and if this is a romantic relationship then you partnering up with this person who i believe is a strong soulmate would have given you some kind of strength that you needed to stand up for yourself maybe in another arena of your life really i'm seeing kind of like the the ripples of this have really gone out it's affected multiple people and um it made you maybe shy or not stand up for yourself where you should have which caught got you caught in webs you should not been have been it, you know it's this has had an immense effect on people but i do feel like something here is coming out for some of you if it's relevant they're they're talking to authorities whether that's a professional authority group here that makes decisions or whether that's actual like you know police or law enforcement um or if it's just the person who was duped and saying listen i was a part of a plan to rope you back in with your ex that you had worked so hard to get away from and i'm deeply sorry because now you have four kids with them and it changed the course of your entire life and i it's so immoral and i'm deeply ashamed and i should have come forward and i know this person was jealous of a new love interest that you had that was actually the light and good and and nice and kind and you're happily ever after and they just they were jealous and they could not let that be and this it's a way of taking a life is what i'm getting um and it's nasty and i feel like that karmic cycle though has been put has come to an end something here is, is like final nail in the coffin because somebody here cannot live with themselves that they're keeping this secret for a horrible human being basically who is not looked at as having done the things that they have done in order to gain the things that they have gained and all of that is coming down i feel like something here is going to crumble down like their web of lies like there's a domino effect here um that's potentially going to happen here and it's a huge justice movement and again you might not even realize this your life may have moved on you might not have even realized you were lied on or that this person or your job was like intercepted for some you didn't even know that somebody was trying to offer you a job or like trying to offer you a promotion and this person like intercepted it you might not even know that this went on behind your back or that the people you were involved in kept this kind of company like i i don't know but this is coming out in the light and it's more robust and more certain and more matter of fact this person did this on this day and you know 
than you could have ever even imagined. So that's what I have for this reading. Again, please don't take this on if this is not your message. Um, if that resonated, please do like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Bye guys. One more thing here. So I feel like this friend or this accomplice, whoever has seen this, they're coming forward now because somehow the universe has made clear to them or they realize that the reason certain things have gone wrong in their particular life and their existence is because they have participated in this dirty dance with this very low vibrational individual. And I'm hearing the phrase, those who interfere with the destiny of another being will not receive their own. And so however these two people interfered or this one person and this other person just kept quiet, however this shook out, but like if this was romantic, I feel like this individual here has also not met with their own romantic destiny. They have not met their soulmate. Maybe they've been dragged through the ringer in a very similar way. Um, if this was professional, I feel like it's the same thing. They have not met their professional destiny and their professional happiness because that those who interfere with the destiny of another being will not receive their own. And somehow this has made been made clear to this individual that shit has gone wrong in your life because this is an ongoing hurt because somebody was on, on route so close there's something here that was like so close because they're showing me i'm literally seeing like nine minutes and 55 seconds on the clock and then i'm seeing 10 full minutes like there's something here that was like so close it's like oh just a little bit more and that was actually going to come together and it would have made all the difference and also it was god's plan this was like the doubt so somebody here rivaled god they interrupted god maybe they thought they that you were their enemy or because you getting your destiny like they thought you were taking something from them. That is absolutely not the case. And that's that very low vibrational, competitive ego consciousness like mindset. So that's been made clear here to um, this person that actually does have a heart and actually does have a conscience. They do know right from wrong. They never really felt okay with doing whatever this was, but for some reason they did go along with it or they kept this secret. But yeah, again, it's that those who interfere with the destiny of another being will not receive their own. So that is what I'm getting. If that resonated, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Bye, guys. <laughs>